Hey, what is going on guys? Father Gamer here and welcome back to some more Crystal Hunt Journeys with myself and of course our friend the Baron here. Today we're going to be looking at some mods that make you ascend beyond the normal base level of a max level player. And we're talking ridiculously- shush! So as I was saying, these mods are super and we're going to be checking them out today. So without any further delays, let's get started. Okay, so if you remember in the last video, we decorated our home and it was all lovely and great. However, I came back on today and all of this was gone. All of that hard work and time I put in completely erased. And that's because silly FG forgot that there's a limit on the amount of items that you can have in the home at one time. And I'd forgotten about a mod that we needed to fix that issue for us. But it's all okay because I've redecorated the home as you can see. Everything is pretty much how it was bar a few variations. But it's still pretty much the same if not a little bit better I would say. And of course we now have the required mod to make sure that all of this stuff stays exactly where we put it now. The mod is called Home Storage Expansion and it lets you have unlimited items in your home. So that one really should have been in the list for last video as well. Right, let's get ourselves some equipment. We're going to get ourselves a potion ready because we are going to be going out and doing a run and checking out some more mods today. Now we're going to need some weaponry as well. I think there's one in here I haven't put away yet. And that was what we bought last time, the wrist blade. Yeah, we put everything else away. And I don't think there's anything else from here that we want. No, you may have noticed we've got multiple swords of Gnar there. That's because when I installed one of the mods, for some reason it caused a duplication glitch. And I, I can't do anything with them, as you probably know. You can't sell them, you can't dispose of them. There's nothing I can really do with it. So they just stay there in the stash. Anyway, let's head on to an outpost and try out our new super mods. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the first mod in today's showcase, the Divine Strength and Speed mod. This mod was created by myself and what it does is give you superpowers but we'll start off with the basics it's going to increase your health and focus by a large amount but don't worry because if you don't like that there is a version of the mod which leaves your health and focus normal so you don't have to have that if you don't want it it also gives us like some super speed you see we're strafing around a lot faster and we can also sprint super fast now like crazy fast now it might take a little bit of while to get used to your new speed but it's worth it. We also have easier weapon handling, so we can throw these two-handed weapons around quite easy with just one hand, because as you can see, we are quite strong now. That also includes the maul and the other big two-handed weapons and the great swords. They're quite easy. Even in focus mode, we can still throw this around quite fluently. You might feel a little bit of weight in the big weapons still. Oh, she got absolutely wrecked. Yeah, so as well as the weapon handling, we can also pick up and lift heavy objects just wait hold on a second I'm doing a demonstration we pick this up you see now you're not gonna be able to throw it around but we can still pick this up a lot easier now as you can see and this applies to all the heavier items so you can attempt to beat the NPCs with them if you want to of course I tried to make it so it wasn't too ridiculous right what else did I need to show ah yeah so before we go through there we're gonna head over to the ocean because we might not get another chance to show this off so the Divine Strength and Speed mod also improves your swimming power. It makes your hands stronger in the water so you can move around a lot quicker as you can see. And as well as being able to swim around a lot stronger and easier, you have like unlimited breath pretty much so you could just Pirates of the Caribbean chill out under here or just walk around like and you're never going to run out of oxygen. You're never going to suffocate. So that's pretty cool as well. And the benefits just keep coming because as well as that, this mod will also enable you to be able to jump a lot higher, like super jump. And as well as super jump, we've also got super climb. Now you see like how easy we're like throwing ourselves around with just one hand? Watch this, we can just throw ourselves up here practically. That is how strong we are when we're climbing now. So maneuverability is now easy, like no matter what scenario it is, climbing, swimming, jumping through the air, whatever you want to do. We are super quick at it. We have been enhanced in every single way. You would say that we are far stronger than the max skill level of the base character could ever be. We have ascended to a being of divine power. Ah oh man, the speed really does take a while to get used to. But when you do, and then you don't have it anymore, it's impossible to live without. Everything just feels so slow. 
Trust me, I know. I forgot I don't have easy climb enabled. We might have super climb, but we don't have easy climb, which means we can't grab anything willy-nilly. Because I refuse to turn on cheats in this playthrough. Oh yeah, so also the Divine Strength and Speed mod gives you super punches. Of course, that was a bit of a weak one. And that's a bit of a stronger one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's have a look around for some collectibles. And, oh, we're going to find some in these boxes, aren't we? Let's break these and find some trinkets to take home. Because, you know, I decided that because we're so super rich, there's no need to sell everything to the Baron. We might as well start decorating our home with some of the fancier items. Because why should we just have all the trash? While the Baron's sitting on all the treasures and jewels, you know, we, we can afford to keep these things now. We're going to make our home look real fancy. Hello, Jonathan. You know what? It's time for your daily flying lesson. <laughs> I was just feeling pretty cool today. I'm sorry, Jonathan. You, you didn't deserve that. So now it's time to talk about the second mod in today's showcase, which is the sister to Divine Strength and Speed, also made by me, and it's called Divine Spell Power. And this allows you to charge all of your spells instantly and cast them. You know, you know the drill. And this also includes all of the merge spells and the spell combos. You can charge them and cast them instantly. But as well as that, it also makes all the base spells far stronger than their original counterparts. Like instant death type situations. A hidden benefit to this is we could now switch to plate armor if we wanted to or wear whatever we wanted and still have instant spell casting. Duh! Duh! Look how far she went. Oh, I love it. I love having more powerful spells. At this point in the series, it's disgusting how powerful we are. We're beyond God status at this point. The gods tremble before us. Oh yeah, it also makes your telekinesis a lot stronger as well. I forgot to mention that. Let's try cast one of these bad boys while they're all gathered around. Oh! Oh no way, he managed to push us away with a gravity spell at the last moment. That was actually pretty cool and heroic. It was like the NPC's last ditch effort to like save everyone. It was like, blow it away. Sacrifice himself to blow it away with a gravity spell. I was impressed by that. So now it's time to talk about another mod. Held Item Imbue, which as you've just noticed, allows us to imbue held weapons with the spell selected while we're still holding it, which comes extremely useful, especially when you've got a staff or the Sword of Gnar. I mean, obviously it's useful for any weapon, but with this combination, you just can't go wrong, can you? Of course, you can just switch between any spell you want while still holding it, and you can recharge it without having to put it down which obviously is extremely useful to any battle mage or mage. Right then, I think we've kicked butt here. <laughs> Let's see if there's any collectibles around for me. These guys just didn't stand a chance, did they? It was just like a horror scene. Okay, let's move on. I've got a couple of more mods to talk about before we finish this dungeon. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase the next one soon. Oh, perfect. So, you see this fella here? You see how he seems just a little bit taller than us? You will notice that the NPCs are coming in all different, like, heights now, short, tall, and that's because they're no longer based on my height, and that's because of a mod called Height Diversity, which basically makes it the way I just said now. The NPCs no longer spawn at a height which is based on your player height. <laughs> Do you see his jaw? That's the jaw physics mod in action. I don't know if I've showed it yet, but there you go. You can you can break NPCs' jaws with the jaws physics mod. So you just had two mods in one: height diversity and jaw physics. Let's see if we can find some cool collectibles. That, that kind of threw me off. <laughs> the way his mouth was just hanging there. That really got me. That was some funny stuff. Okay, let's head on through here then. And hello there. Let's try a super a punch. Oh, oh wait. Okay, so yeah, I need to talk about that. You see that that was kind of a bit of a glitch with the divine strength and speed mod. Sometimes the punches behave a little bit strange. I'm still ironing out some kinks. And the reason it did that there is because I wanted it so that it wasn't always a super punch. I wanted you to be able to sort of control it so you could hit them a bit harder, harder send them further, hit them a bit lighter and they don't go as far. But that kind of results in sometimes a little bit of slow, floaty behavior. Or the occasional boomeranging. But we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm going to keep playing with the mod and iron out all the kinks. And then once I've got it to a place where it feels good, I'll release another update. 
It's a bit trickier than some realise to balance everything perfectly because a lot of the aspects I have to alter to make these changes also affect other things and if I change things too much then other things start to get a bit crazy so it's hard to find that perfect sweet spot but we're getting closer to it. Right, any goodies in here? No, let's just move on. Ooh, we get to have a nice big battle out here. Let's just quickly test out the punch again. <laughs> oh, missed. Duh! Oh, I see, they did it again, little slow motion thing. Yeah, so I've got a few kinks to work out with it, but it'll be done. Uh, oh, you know, I've never been down here before. I didn't know we could go down here. Oh, there's a little collectible down here as well. There's this whole area under here. This is cool. Was this always here? Where do we go from here? Oh, do we just have to like climb back up? Well, that's for chumps. We're gonna jump our way back up, thank you. Oh, you're waiting for me? Oh, get wrecked, my guy. Show me the red. Show me all the blood. <laughs> Shower me in it. Ooh, fireball. Yo. What took that guy out? I've actually got another mod that I need to talk about that we've got as well. And that's called Give Me Space. Oh, oh, what a kick. We destroyed this man. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting that to go so well. Anyway, yeah, this mod is called Give Me Space, and what it does is it stops the NPCs from getting up into you. Like, they don't get too close when they're trying to attack you. They actually keep a bit of distance, which just helps it feel a little bit more immersive and makes combat feel a lot easier. Because that was getting a bit of a problem where they just seem to really get in your face. Like, so much. Like, they stand in you sometimes. It makes it hard to fight them or ruin some really good combinations. But now they at least try to respect your personal... Whoa! Excuse me! That was a bit close. Hey, 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 I'm warning you. Don't pick it up. D right. You had your warning. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you're going to shoot with that? You can't get me. No! Whoa! Yo, we just caught that. We are untouchable. Come on, I'll give you another shot. I'll give you another shot. Let's see if we can hit it away this time like I did before. Oh, okay, I just missed that one. Go away. We're busy. <laughs> you just stay here. You're disturbing my practice. Get out of my space. There we go. Come on. Someone, take a shot. Someone. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, I give up with the archer. I give up with the archer. Let's just go kill some people. Don't run away from me. Don't run away. Don't be scared. Dead. Who's next? Oh, I see the box. Let's see if I can sneak attack. Yeah, we got her. And he has no idea what happened to her either. That's just perfect. Are you scared? You scared? Well, I'll, I'll take that. Thank you. And you can go over there. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that about ends that then. Is that everyone? Have we defeated everyone? Are they all dead? Yeah, it looks like it. We are victorious. There was no match for our divine powers. Okay then, I think we're about done here. What, wait, poo? We got some more poo? Who took a dump on the table? So These people deserve to die. Animals. Okay, is there any collectibles? Other than poo? Other than fecal matter? No. Okay, never mind then. Let's just head on through here. Oh, maybe this room. Maybe this one's got something for us. Does it not like it? Okay, oh, hello door. I never noticed you before. Let us see what you are protecting. A chest. Very nice, you know what, we don't need the poo anymore. Let's get this. <laughs> okay, that's a good trade. I'm happy with that. Uh, anything else for us? No, and we don't need any more plates right now. We're good for pottery. And let's head on through here and go claim our reward. How many times have we done this now? Yeah, I can't believe someone in the comments told me that they watched the entire Crystal Hunt series uh, in a day. And I'm just like, wow, that's a long time listening to my voice, you know? <laughs> Fair play to you. I'm glad you're loving the series and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Which is mainly why I'm trying to keep it going in this way. Instead of just doing standalone mod showcases. We're trying to integrate it into our Crystal Hunt experience. Alright, I'm going to head on home and I will see you guys over there and we have returned from our modded run and we're ready to add some new decorations into our home and we've got some goodies I think as well first thing we need to do is go into our stash drawer 
to add a new diamond. We've got a diamond. Thank oh, oh, it's got it's that glitch again. It's really weird sometimes. The infantry just doesn't want to close. I gotta I gotta like grab something with this hand now. And there we go, it's gone. Okay, cool. So we've got our diamond in there. What else have we got I wanna put away? Uh, oh, we've got some nice statues. Now, this is what I envisioned. I thought we could have some of these cool wild folk statues and some of the other relics around here as well. Because the Baron really doesn't need all of these, man. I mean, he must be using them as paperweights at this point. He's got so many. We, I mean, we alone have given him so many. So, he just doesn't need it all. We're going to keep it. And we don't need the money. Like, we've got almost 10,000 coins. And we can just get weapons whenever we want to now. So... Yeah, we don't need that much money, really. I'm going to put this dude up here as well. Yeah, that's a nice place. This is cool. This was a good idea. I like this a lot. We're going to have to get some more cool ornaments to put around as well. Oh, we've got one more here. I want to get this guy out as well. And oh, there's a hole in the wall over there. I think that'll be the perfect spot for this, just for now, until we get some more. So there we go. Perfect. I like these little new additions. And, oh, I just noticed we've got some nice chalices here as well. We're going to have the... Because why would we want to drink from all these tatty things here? And we got these fancy stuff now. We want to look like we got some class when people come over for a drink. we got some cool cups for them to drink from. And, yeah, I've got a little dice here. What can I do with my dice? We'll maybe put it over here. I don't want it in the trinket drawer. We only want shiny things in there. Ah, it reminds me I've got this topaz as well. Let's put that in there. We are building a collection of treasures. <laughs> what about this? Do you think I should put that in there? No, you're not, sh no, you're not shiny enough. You're not shiny enough. We want this door drawer to be dazzling. Okay, I think that'll do us for now. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for our modded crystal run today. If you like any of the mods that you've seen, you can find links from them down in the video description below. And of course, if you've enjoyed my video, you can let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> uh, see you later.